Hey guys, Josh here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to burn an ISO onto a USB. So, without a doubt, let's get started. So before you do anything, first of all, you're going to want to make sure that you have a USB that is blank because doing this is going to erase all of the data on the USB. It's going to format it. So um, the reason, some of the reasons why you'd actually want to burn an ISO onto USB is if you want to put like a an antivirus rescue CD um, ISO onto the USB so you can boot off of it and service a computer that has a virus on it. Or if in general, if you just want to put an operating system onto the USB so you can carry it around with you and put it in people's computers and have it load onto the computer super, super fast. Uh, CDs are definitely falling into obscurity, so uh, USB ISOs are definitely uh, very, very popular. So um, first of all, what you're going to want is a USB formatted and uh, second of all, you're going to want a program to burn the ISO onto the USB. Uh, there is a software called Rufus, R-U-F-U-S. It is an awesome utility. Basically, it takes the ISO and it burns it directly to the USB, and then you can boot off of it. So, a um, couple of ISOs to have in mind is you can have like any Windows uh, ISO in general. So, uh, Windows uh, XP, Windows 7, Vista if you want Vista for some reason, and uh, Windows 8, Windows 10, um, also Linux distributions. So first of all, what I'm gonna do here is just go on to Google Chrome here and just uh, to get Rufus on my computer. All right, cool, so Rufus is on my computer now. Now all I need to do is get an ISO. So for this video, I'm gonna be getting an operating system. So I'm actually just gonna stick with a Linux distribution. So it's gonna be Linux Mint 18, the Sara edition. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly download that. All right, so once you have the ISO fully downloaded, you wanna to go to the download location and get that ISO. So for me, it's just gonna be in my downloads. And all right, so I have the ISO here, the Linux Mint 18, and I also have Rufus, which I've opened up here. And basically uh, with Rufus, you want to, first of all, select which device you want to burn the ISO to. So in this case, I want to burn it to my Corsair Survivor Stealth, which is fully formatted. Uh, if you have data on there and you don't care about it at all because you already have backup or it's just useless stuff, uh, Rufus will automatically format it, so you don't need to do that. It, can, it will do that already, but it will also uh, warn you that it's going to erase all the data before doing so. So I'm just going to select uh, Corsair USB 64 gigabytes. Uh, you can pretty much leave this stuff the same unless you really need to change it, like the uh, partition size, so it's going to be MBR, um, obviously. Uh, XFAT, uh, you can pretty much keep all that the same. So uh, once that is done, you want to click on this button here. Uh, basically, this selects an image, and ISO is an image. So click on this here, and basically it's going to be like, okay, what image do you want to open up? So you want to go to wherever you save the image to. So I saved it to uh, my documents ISO, and then the ISO is right here. So I'm going to be clicking on that right now. And there we go, the ISO is selected. Basically, a one pass is pretty good. If you do multiple passes, it's going to verify that it's been uh, burned correctly to the USB. So one pass is totally adequate. So just do one pass. And uh, yeah, uh, let's start that. And it's going to it's gonna pop up that, like, uh, it's going to format the USB, obviously. So do that. Um, right, uh, ISO, yeah. All data will be destroyed. And there we go, it's already burning. Now, depending on how fast your USB, this can take quite a while. Um, this is a 3.0 USB with read and write speeds of about 170 to 200. It fluctuates all the time, but basically this is a very fast USB, that's why I chose it, so it's, it's a quick USB. But if you have a USB 2.0, uh, it's probably going to be a bit slower, so it might take 5 to 10 minutes. It also depends on how big the ISO file it is that you're loading onto it. Alright guys, once we're done burning the ISO to the USB, you want to take the USB out and put it in your laptop or desktop, whatever you want it, uh, whatever, whatever machine or system you want to boot off of, basically, or install the operating system to the machine. So for this case, I'm going to have my laptop, and we're going to plug the USB into the laptop here, 
and turn the laptop on, and, or desktop in that case on. Uh, before you turn it on though, uh, you're actually going to want to start clicking, uh, tapping uh, F12, delete, and in some cases F1 and F2 very, very fast. We are doing this just to get to the BIOS so we can select what to boot from. Um, if there's not an actual uh, boot uh, image on the uh, hard drive, we'll probably automatically boot off of here, but in general, we're going to want to do this. So let's power it on here, and I have a button on the side which I just start tapping, but uh, in general, you're also going to be wanting to tap F12 and delete. And basically, it's going to bring up this menu here. I'm not too sure if you guys can see this, but it's going to be like, okay, what do you want to boot off of? And I'm going to be like, okay, I want to boot off of the uh, USB, which I just created the ISO image off of. So I'm going to hit that, and Linux Mint is going to pop up right now. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, guys, how to boot an ISO how to boot off of an ISO on a USB. So uh, yeah, uh, like this video, uh, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also, I wanna thank Elias Tenois for helping me film this video. He has very professional gear and everything, and he was uh, a big, big help today. So definitely check him out uh, in the description below. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.